Wouldst thou wear the gift of immortal bloom wouldst thou smile in scorn at the shadowy tomb drink of this cup. It is richly fraught with balm from the gardens of genie I brought, drink, and the spoiler shall pass thee by, when the young all scattered like rose leaves lie. And would not the youth of my soul be gone, if the loved had left me? One by one take back the cup that may never bless, the gift that would make me brotherless. How should I live, with no kindred eye to reflect mine immortality? Wouldst thou have empire, by sign or spell, over the mighty in air that dwell? Wouldst thou call the spirits of sure and steep to fetch thee jewels from ocean's deep wave? But this rod, and a viewless band, slaves to thy will, shall around thee stand, and would not fear. At my coming then, hush every voice in the homes of men. Would not bright eyes in my presence quail young cheeks with a nameless thrill turn pale no gift be mine that aside would turn the human love for whose founts I yearn. Wouldst thou then read throw the hearts of those upon whose faith thou hast sought repose where this rich gem? It is charmed to show when a change comes over affection's glow, look on its flushing or fading hue, and learn if the trust it be false or true. Keep, keep the gem that I still may trust, till my heart's wealth be but poured on dust let not a doubt in my soul have place, to dim the light of a loved one's face, leave to the earth its warm, sunny smile that glory would pass could I look on guile. Say, then, what boon of my power shall be, favoured of spirits. Poured forth on thee thou scornest the treasures of wave and mine, thou wilt not drink of the cup divine, thou art fain with a mortal's lot to rest answer me. How may I grace it best? Oh! Give me no sway o'er the powers unseen, but a human heart where my own may lean a friend, one tender and faithful friend, whose thoughts free current with mine may blend, and leaving not either on earth alone, bid the bright, calm close of our lives be one.